the Jets lost Aaron Rodgers to injury one day after Matthew Stafford trade rumors surfaced. Less than a day after NFL Network's Ian Rappaport said that the New York Jets discussed trading Matthew Stafford to the Los Angeles Rams in the offseason before finalizing the Aaron Rodgers deal, new information has emerged. Leonard Floyd, a former Rams linebacker, sacked Rodgers four plays into his Jets career and he was shortly carried to the locker room. The results of Rodgers' ankle x-rays were negative, but Rappaport claimed that the Jets are concerned that their star quarterback may have an Achilles injury shortly after New York's 22-16 overtime victory over the Bills. If that's the case, Rodgers won't be available to the Jets for Theto say the least, the remainder of the 2023 season. Stafford recently had one of his greatest performances as a member of the Rams on Sunday against the Seattle Seahawks, and the Jets may now be questioning whether they should have made a higher offer for him. This is true not just because he was effective and routinely completed downfield passes. Additionally, he was doing it in front of an offensive line that was collaborating for the first time without Cooper Cup. Trading after the victory on Sunday, Stafford is no longer a factor for Lay. But it was in the offseason. Tim Boyle, who is on the practice squad, would theoretically be New York's third choice. But any trade rumors that surface prior to the October 31st deadline, as well as those involving unrestricted free agents like Carson Wentz and the currently retired Tom Brady, will be associated with the Jets. In order to succeed in the playoffs now, while their defense is so strong, New York invested their hearts and souls into obtaining Rodgers. What will they do after that if it doesn't work with Rodgers? The Jets may regret this decision for a very long time because it appears that the ship on Stafford has left the dock.